Hey guys, Neoma here. Now for today's video, transfer news. Liverpool linked with Bakayo Saka. I'll be giving my thoughts on that. Real Madrid have given their final warning in regards to Aubameyang. Also, Gerson, the Flamengo player, and Dennis Gayamfi from Leicester, also linked with Arsenal. Stay tuned to my thoughts and my views on all of these topics. And if you haven't done so already, please hit the subscribe button. You should be somewhere below. Please continue to comment, like. Now, let's get started. So, news this morning, and I know it's a bit around yesterday, but Bakayo Saka linked to Liverpool. Now, I've had my my thoughts on this, and we all know Bakayo Saka has been absolutely tremendous this season. And I will make this pretty short because it's really, really simple. I don't see this deal happening. I, I, I believe that Liverpool would be interested in Saka. It makes sense. He's English. He's young. Bags of potential. They could prop. They'll definitely be able to get him on a cut price deal, especially if you know in a couple of years' time, two, three years' time, he manages to develop into the player that becomes even better than what he is right now. Like it would be an absolute steal for Liverpool to get Bukayo Saka for like twenty mil or something. Absolute steal, no doubt about it. But Bukayo Saka isn't going to Liverpool. It just it would not make sense. Now, I know on the other side, the Liverpool supporters would be like, yeah, but he has a better chance of winning trophies. But let's be really honest. He's young, 18. The only thing a player between 18 and 21 is thinking of, unless they're the world's best players, is thinking of is, I want game time. First team football, playing week in, week out. And that is something that Liverpool cannot give then he'll be able to get cameos from off the bench, and I'm sure he'll play in every single, you know, Carabao Cup and FA Cup game um, in order to start out, especially in the early rounds. But besides that, is he really starting ahead of Mane or Salah? No. Out of the question. So I'm just going to end it like that in terms of Saka going to Liverpool. It just isn't going to happen. It's not. We'll sort out the contract business. The only team I'm even in remotely fear of that Saka might be interested in is Dortmund. Because Dortmund are a side, that's what they do. They buy young players or they get them on a free and they develop them and then eventually they sell them on. But they know how to develop young players. That's the only team around that could offer Saka even something that will get him to think of leaving Arsenal. But right now, let's just get the finances right and get Saka sealed out. And then we've got another player who Arsenal are rumoured of, Brazilian, of course, the Edu connection. Gerson from Flamengo. He is a central midfield player at Flamengo. Uh, very young, 22 years old uh, and really good prospect. Uh, I've spent the morning just doing a lot of research on him watching some of his games, watching some highlights from YouTube and just checking out some of his stats. And I think he's a really good, well-rounded uh, player. Reminds me a lot of Sissoko, who's at Tottenham previously, of Newcastle. Just has all the capabilities to do a bit of everything. He's strong, he's quick. Technically, I think he's better than Sissoko and how he moves the ball around and his passing ability. But his just ability to drive the ball forward and try to create chances, I really admire. And the way how he moves, like a lot of the times, it was almost like he was a defensive midfielder rather than a central midfield player. And that's the part that I love, you know, because Arsenal don't really have a player like that. I, yes, we have Lucas Torreira, and you can make an argument for Callum Chambers as being someone of that ilk. But we need more players that could has a lot more physicality to him and Gerson seems that type to be able to do that and with how everything has been going good with Pablo Mari and our connection with Flamengo it wouldn't surprise me to see us get this deal over the line with Gerson. In terms of goals he's not very much of a big goal scorer he's only played about seven games so far this season but two goals uh, and it just shows that 
primarily he's a central midfield player. Yes, I know he can also play as an attacking midfield player and can also play out on the right. Similar to how Joe Willock uh, is, is versatile like that. But the one thing that he can give us is that Joe Willock can't is the experience. I mean, this is a player who played against Liverpool in the World Club Cup and took him to extra time uh, where Liverpool obviously won 1-0. But, you know, he's obviously can play at that top tier level with when you could be able to play against Liverpool and, and not get completely smashed. So I really do think that if we could get, get him for a good amount, uh, again, it comes down to budget. You know, we're probably looking at another 5 to 10 mil. I think we could probably get him for. And if that is the case, I can honestly say from everything that I've researched on the guy, he, this, that, that would be an absolute, be a good bit of business. It really, really would. Fantastic bit of business. But let's see what happens um, with that. I mean, it's going to be an interesting summer. Uh, and depending on whether the season continues going forward or whether it shuts down will be dependent on who we're going after and how much money that we're going to be spending on players. Now, Abamyang. So the story this morning, virtually uh, about an hour or so ago, is that Real Madrid have decided that they are not going to wait around for Arsenal to decide on what they're going to do with Abamyang. So they've got a mid-June deadline, uh, which, to be honest, is in what? Four weeks, four and a half weeks. It's not April. It's now May tenth, so it's not long to be honest. It really isn't. I mean, we're already halfway through May, and what is the club going to do? I mean, we have an opportunity here to to do something, uh, and I don't know what's going on in and around the surroundings of Arsenal. But we got to get Aubameyang on a new contract. I would like him to stay. I'd love for him to stay. But if he doesn't want to go, make the decision and either sell the guy or get rid of... Oh, or do something. We cannot be in a position where we're letting him go on, away on a free. Like, the club will move on. Yes, Aubameyang is a top player. But we just have to change and adapt. And... It's so really what it is. So whether he goes to Real Madrid and maybe we can get a player off there. I did a video a couple of days ago talking about Aubameyang uh, and what that looks like. Maybe we might get Jovic in on loan. I really don't know. Um, I did a video on Jovic. Who would I prefer? Akadi or Jovic? I'd probably I'd take Akadi just because he's more experienced, far more clinical on a regular basis. But again, it's time to make a decision Arsenal it really is so whether we like it or love it a decision is going to be made on a Bamiyang and I'll be keeping a very close eye on what this looks like and then finally a um, little bit of a side note uh, just um, there's a Leicester City right back in Dennis Gamamfi he is part of their academy his contract runs at the end of the season and Arsenal are said to be interested in him uh, still very early days, and I think this is part to do with the fact that earlier on in the season, Arsenal scouted him a lot, and I mean a lot. Uh, and they'd, they've identified him as someone that they could potentially go after. And you can see why. I, I mean, when it comes to options on the defensive end, and I know Arsenal's academy this season have not been great. He has an opportunity to not just play in our academy, but to continue to develop and hopefully... You know, maybe even get promoted into the first team. Is he going to get a lot of options in the first team? Probably not. He, I, I know Leicester have Perea and it's probably very difficult. But this is a, a player who even Leicester have identified that he is a top-notch player. So for a player like his quality to be going on a free, it's definitely a good one to look at. But again, still relatively early days. But guys... Thank you very much for watching the video. Please leave your comments on what do you think on this Bakayo Saka uh, transfer to Liverpool. Uh, for me personally, yeah, it's... No, it's not going to happen. And then Real Madrid starts on a Bamiyang. I get it, but leave your comments below. As well as Gerson. Let's, uh, let's see how all of those go. 
Leave your comments below on all of those. And yeah, I will see you all next time. Peace.